Hey guys, EVP Man here, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at one of the best looking 3D printers we've had on the channel. And for those of you who have limited space and are looking for a 3D printer that will fit anywhere in your home and look great too, well, you'll want to check out the Sermoon D1. And it has fantastic, fantastic print quality. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now, the Creality Sermoon D1 is a fully enclosed printer that it's actually the first printer ever that's come to my home and that my wife Nelda has said, that is a beautiful printer. And yeah, it is a great looking printer. Uh, the printer is made out of an aluminum frame with a transparent double door that allows you to see what's printing. And it looks absolutely amazing. More importantly, and this is another great feature, is that this printer is whisper quiet, which means if you have to have a printer, let's say like in a common place, uh, living room, dining room, somewhere in your home, you're not going to notice this printer running because it's ultra quiet. Now what that means is that your family and friends aren't going to notice it because of the noise it makes, but because of how cool it looks, well, they're going to notice it. So if you have a small home or even a small apartment and you're looking for a printer that's going to fit well, look good and be ultra quiet, keep on watching this video. Now this printer is different than any of the other printers that we reviewed on the channel. Not just from the overall look, which we already said looks great, but also how it prints. So instead of the print head coming down and the bed moving around as we've seen with the other printers to get your 3D print, in this case the bed comes up to meet the print head and the print head moves around as it's printing. So you don't have that back and forth motion, all you have is a print head going around and the bed coming up and down to meet the actual print head. So it has a double Z axis screw and an XY synchronous bearing that's going to give you high precision quality prints. And I have to say that as soon as we took this printer out of the box, put it together, inserted the SD card that comes with it. The prints came out flawless, but we wanted to test it further and we ran our own prints, sliced in Cura, and we found that the print quality was still there. Now the reason why this printer is so quiet is because it has a silent mainboard. That, with the enclosure, makes things ultra quiet. Now for those of you who are wondering how much space do you need to have in order to be able to support this printer anywhere in your home? Well the machine size, and this is including the external dimensions, is 500 by 500 by 531 millimeters. Now from a print perspective, the print bed is also a great size. You're talking about 280 by 260 by 310. So that's going to give you great size prints and it also doesn't take up a lot of space. Now from a hotbed perspective, you can expect to get a temperature up to 100 degrees. Now from a temperature for the nozzle, you're looking at about 250. So those two things combined and the fact that you have it enclosed is going to give you a lot of flexibility when it comes to print. So you're going to be able to support filaments like PLA, PLA+, ABS, and TPU, which is great. Now this printer also features a 4.3 touchscreen display that's going to give you the ability to access all the controls and set your prints. Now from a nozzle diameter perspective, you have lots of flexibility. We're talking about supports of a standard 0.4 uh, or an optional 0 0.2, 0 0.8 or 1.2 millimeter. Again, it's going to give you a lot of flexibility when it comes to the type of print head that you want to have on there. Now also the features a filament runout sensor as well as power resume, which again gives you great flexibility. Now the Sermon D1 also has a unique glass bed. It's actually the first of its kind that we've actually tested. Uh, it's kind of almost like rubbery, but at the same time it is something that things don't stick to when it's time to remove them. So first level adhesion, no issues because of the material. Uh, and then when the bed cools off, it, every print comes off super easy. Um, the bed also, I notice, is evenly heated because of this uh, type of glass bed. So if you're looking for something you can have consistent prints and you're not going to want to have to purchase maybe a flex plate, this is it. Now next we'll check out the prints because this is where you're going to be really excited and impressed with this printer. So this comes on the standard SD and this is a pencil holder. And I just want you to see, literally I haven't cleaned this at all. So there was no stringing here, no webbing. Um, uh, first layer, you can notice what the first layer here looks like. It's also super smooth. Something about the bed makes the bottom of these prints almost glass-like. It's, it's, it literally feels like if I had um, a sheet of plastic on top of it. It is super smooth. I don't know if that can, you can tell right there. See how it, it kind of uh, reflects? And, and I see this with each one of the prints. Uh, so you can see the overall detail here. Um, also how clean the top is right here. Uh, 
great, great print. So we went ahead and printed another print of theirs. So here's another one, and this is a vase. Uh, beautiful vase. Uh, this was, you know, I dropped this, so it cracked right here. This wasn't a defect during the print, but let me show you uh, some of uh, what's going on over here. So notice this side. Uh, beautiful, beautiful. By the way, this is also Creality uh, PLA as well. So as you see this, notice how clean this is. And again, look at the bottom. Again, the bottom has this high gloss look, really soft, almost glass-like, uh, fantastic looking print. So we said, hey, uh, the prints that come with it print well, right? Let's go ahead and install the slicer and let's run our old prints to see how they work. So we went ahead and did that. And it does have a proprietary uh, Cura slicer. So it is a version of Cura that's been skinned to fit this specific printer. It has all the profiles you need to just load, slice, and print. And take a look at, uh, again, this owl that we printed here. Again, no changes whatsoever, no tweaking, pretty much the standard settings. And that's really important to me that I can just print and go. I don't really want to spend a lot of time troubleshooting and trying to get things to work as they should out of the box. And that's what I appreciate here. So take a look at the detail here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and kind of rotate him a little bit. Just the amount of detail. Now look at the back here. Absolutely gorgeous, super nice and smooth. And what I like is that there's no seam here. Now at the very top here, I saw that mm, there's a uh, little defects here, but not major and a little bit going on right here. Notice the bottom again. This is that very smooth finish that I was talking about. Uh, fantastic print. It's, uh, it's as close to a perfect print from an out of the box printer that I've ever had. Now this last print uh, is from Wexter, right? And this is Loki and no supports guys okay so no supports whatsoever and this was printed in two pieces i printed out the base with no supports so you can we'll take a look at the base first so you can see that look how clean that is no supports it has um, some small dimples here that i'm sure i can clean up right because again i'm going based off of the standard print settings and then over here we have loki and look at the detail that we're having here in his vest check that out and rotate. Look how clean that is here. Look at his hair. Look at the back. Oh, look how smooth that is. And then the detail that we have here at the very top. Just, and the horns, right? Again, no supports. It looks really good, really good. So, really happy with the prints. Uh, we've actually been printing nonstop with this printer and haven't had really any issues out whatsoever. You know, occasionally we have to dehydrate uh, depending on our filament that's been around for a while, but that's how I expect it to be standard. But it literally is put it together, power it up, slice, and go. So guys, that wraps up our review of the Sir Moon D1. Check out those fantastic prints. Well, see you in the next one.